Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Boy Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. And with the 3D printed tournament coming close, we've got a couple of people who have sent in some submissions. Um, I have not looked at anyone's files yet, and my bay is finished. Now, this is the first time I've ever actually used one of my mainstream original three. My original three are Shatter, V8, and Wolg. Wolg does have an update, however, I'm not going to use it because, one, it was switch frame, but I wasn't going to adapt it because my good friend June actually made the bay. So I did not want to use something that someone else made and basically be fighting them. So, this is the first time I have ever entered a tournament with Shatter. So, the bay that I'm going to be using, and I'm actually doing something that I probably shouldn't do, and that's showing it off before. Basically, I'm, I'm showing it before the tournament. So, you guys get a little bit of an advantage. Because I have not seen anyone's bays if they have not posted photos. Because I'm trying to keep it a surprise for me. That way, I don't have an advantage. You guys will kind of have a slight advantage. Some of you who haven't sent them in yet. I Most people have already sent theirs in. But either way, I'm stalling. My bay is called Death Dealing Shatter. And the name behind this actually comes from... Uh, a game called Star Wars or Star Trek Fleet Command. My dad plays the game. He's been playing it for a few years now. And one of their big teams that my dad actually used to fight against was called DDHH, Death Dealing Headhunters. And they were such a big and powerful force. They were the biggest group in the server. Where uh, I took the name Death Dealer, so it is Death Dealer Shatter. And... I actually used a couple of designs from my past. Let me see if I can find the old file. All right, apparently I can the old file after it broke. Um, if anyone remembers my Beyblade Thunder Chicken, um, it is a Trans Am themed Beyblade and it features a step um, design for essentially uppercuts. It's a mix between uppercut and smash attack. And I can actually bring out the original shatter to show where it has parts of the original shatter in it and basically it's a mix between evil befalls spin track and like thunder chicken so the original shatter is known for having just the simple curve death dealer shatter has several raised curves they are all the same shape they have just slightly been altered so it's got two main uppercut points and i didn't plan out my combo ahead of time it's on wheel um evolution with a medium worn down i did not plan this combo out ahead of time and it's kind of fighting against me because evolution is a pretty tall driver so i'm really not gonna be able to get the good uppercut points that i need so potentially shot myself in the foot just a little bit on that one but you know it's no big deal we'll get by we're all just having fun with the tournament so it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter if anyone's good or not we're all just having fun swapping some ideas making friends you know the good stuff the good stuff that they talk about in the movies it's been a long day i'm weird let me be <laughs> um i can't use that i'm just getting some combos here so, let's see how the new Death Dealing Shatter does in the stadium. So, I got Boom Calzar, uh, Seven Claw, and Death Dealing. I almost... Okay. I almost never use rubber drivers. Um, and especially everyone knows how much I hate variable, and I'm not a huge fan of evolution, but I, I wanted to give it a shot. That way everyone couldn't say, well, he's never used it, so he doesn't know. This thing hits like a freight train. I've never seen a bay get thrown off balance quite like that. 
And basically, it attacks different because it's got multiple raised levels, so depending on what point it hits. And it's not like it's a smooth... Um, it's not like they even taper smooth. There's a ledge, so every point is basically a smash attack. So it, it hits, and it hits pretty well. I will be using the large teeth for this, for the efficiency system. I forgot I need to talk to Mako. Um, J2, zero, fusion. Okay, it can actually burst. That's, it can burst things. Shacker doesn't really burst things all that much. He just hits too hard. Um, all right, we've got right Artemis 6 Flugel. That was going to be a sleep stand had I not stopped it. That was a bad launch. I was thinking about making the infill on the bays kind of low just to really test durability, but I set mine to 80%, so that's what I'm going to have to do for the rest of them. That way, it's fair. It hits really hard. And it can apparently burst, which Shatter, re like I said before, really isn't good at doing that. Um, We got some left spins here. God, I'm really just exposing everything about this. This is the first time I've used it. Um, I got Wilt Rose on 7 Flow Eternal. I don't know how these teeth haven't broken yet. Um, I have Overdrive, Six Glaive, uh, Survive Slingshock. I really wanted to call that Spiral. Okay. <laughs> From those two little hits, half damage. Um, and finally, we've got Valcor, the Emerald Dragon, on 2D Atomic Slingshock. Left spin. You missed. <laughs> you just straight up missed. Valcor's actually never burst, so... Granted, it's only been in, like, two videos, so I haven't given it a whole lot of opportunity to. Just out of curiosity, let's send Shatter in with a string launcher. It actually hit the wall and went straight after him. As per usual, Shatter goes to the for the throat first things first. Stupid launcher. Oh, pitiful launch. Let's see what it can do. Also, you know what? I'll get. Get old V8 out, and we'll throw one round against V8 just to see what it can do against a real heavy bay. I should have used Valcor. I should have shut my mouth and just used Valcor. You guys couldn't see me off camera, but I actually jumped when I saw it throw V8 into the wall. Because it's not a super heavy bay. I mean, it's it's a good weight. It's, it's heavy enough. Wheels heavy. It's got a pretty bulky layer. Especially with 80% in, infill. But it's, it's not super heavy. Man, it hits like a freight train. 
because it's got the mix of a smash attack and an uppercut attack all at the same time, so it hits pretty hard. Ooh, we actually almost got V8 to burst. Let's give it one more go. Alright. I think I've shown enough. It did take some damage there. V8 took about half. So, um, the new shatter. Death dealing shatter. Give you guys a little bit of a uh, of a heads up for what's to come in this tournament. It meets the rules. I, I'll actually show it off um, thoroughly on camera. This file does have a bit of a pinch point right here. But I did not modify that. That's just how the file is. There's no burst stoppers. There is a little bit of friction, which is allowed. Because it's not technically a burst stopper. It is friction. Technically... Line Lock V8 could fit in, or the original V8 could, I should say. But I'm going to avoid that. That's how just all of this uh, file prints. Regular uh, disc, nothing crazy. Can never get this teeth out. These are the same teeth that were actually in Lockjaw Jackal. Um, they're just the large teeth for the uh, efficiency system. There's no burst stoppers, nothing crazy. This layer... It is simple. It is basic. It's basically the same thing as this. Um, it's a simple and efficient bay. That's kind of what the uh, tournament was supposed to be. Test your minds. Test your knowledge. See what you can do with uh, very little. Basically, make a MacGyver Beyblade. So, Alright guys, that is about it. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos because I upload daily. And as always, I hope that this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome. I can't wait for this tournament to get underway.